Good morning, everybody. Hope you're all having a great day. Um, this morning, we're doing some chores around the um, barn here this morning. Jim is going to be spreading some manure with the Percherons, and they haven't worked for several days, so they might be a little frisky. And I am going to be brushing the colts today. And they have, I might even try something new that I haven't hardly done, but I think I'll show you. And then at the end of this video, we have something brand new that we're gonna, we wanna share with you, but we'll leave that to the end of the video. So come on along with us today because um, we just want to share with you what's going on here at the farm. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving, our U.S. viewers, and a hello to everybody else in the world as well. Okay. Well, actually, I'm going to be working on the tails this morning because I did brush them, uh, the tails and the manes this morning because I did brush them already. And we have them in Lady, Lady and Bill's stalls this morning because they're out getting a day off outside. Dookie. And we haven't done much with these in a long time. And I'm telling you what, mains take a lot of time. And if you did it every day, it would be awesome. It would be a lot better, but there's still a lot of maintenance. A lot of maintenance to mains. I put some baby oil in here to help things along. Okay, I'm gonna try something new. I've hardly done it, but I did do it the other day. I just decided I was gonna try to pick up Duke's foot. So, and he was good about it the other day. Duke, pick up your foot. Duke, Duke, Duke. Duke. a boy. Should I try the other side? Duke, let me have your foot, hon. Not a boy. Well, Jim has always said that just fooling with her feet is a good way to um, you know, as they grow so that they can learn to pick up their feet because it's necessary for when you're working on trimming hooves or shoeing. So we're just doing a little bit of, you know, teaching as they go or getting them used to it. Um, so I don't know if Earl's going to be, he wasn't quite as obliging the other day, but I'll see if he lets me. He's kind of, come on early, early bird. Good job, Earl. Um, I w I'm not gonna try the hind feet. I just am getting used to doing this myself and actually the fact that I'm actually doing this is quite, shows how much I'm learning and getting used to being around, actually working on the horses. Um, even though I've been around horses all this time, there was lots of periods of time when I wasn't out here every day. So I'm just getting more and more used to the horses and these horses are so docile and easy to work with that I feel comfortable doing it. I just, on a whim the other day, just Jim wasn't even here, just decided to try picking up their feet. Just wanted to see what they would do and they did let me. Okay, Earl. Earl hardly has anything to hang on to there. I'll tell you, it gives you a really good feeling though to, to be able to ch do something new and improve your skills. It really, it really does and makes me think maybe I will, you know, do a lot more with these horses, ride them, drive them. If I feel comfortable with them, I will. And I think one of the big things, years ago, I used to be a lot more afraid of horses and I'm just not, uh, all of a sudden, I'm just not so afraid of them anymore. And that's so important, not to be afraid of them. So, 
one of the things I think is just having proper footwear and not and not worrying about <laughs> horses stepping on your feet and stuff like that. All right, I mean, I got proper footwear and then Bill stepped on my foot and it didn't bother. And it may bother, but it's just a, one of those um, things that you have to be willing to um, live with. If something, if you get hurt, you got to be willing to be, it might happen. It's just part of life. It's just like having a husband who's a logger. I'm rambling, and people aren't going to like that. So, <laughs> But having a husband who's a logger, I'm not going to change the fact that he does a very, very dangerous <clears throat> occupation. I just have to accept that fact and live with the possible consequences and enjoy every day. So that's what I do. And that's what he does. He's doing what he loves. So, Well, I'll tell you, I'm loving this um, new opening we have. It's amazing how one thing leads to another, but this barn just looks like so much better than it used to. Yes, there's, it's like, might look really yucky to a lot of you people, but this um, that Jim put in here is so usable, this uh, cement that we put in there. How are you liking it? I love it, and, and I, I know I should have done it differently, and a lot of people have commented on how I should have done it, and, and I actually even said that's probably what I should have done earlier in the video but I mean in that the video when we did this I should have made a, a, a full wall here and started again instead of having a slope like I did but I still feel it will probably hold out for quite some time and yes I love it I can come in here and spin the skid steer scoop it up and take it right outside and it's working great this door I just love this door and I don't know it's just like the the barn is so much more <laughs> solid looking and enjoyable to look out out this way yeah for one thing, but it's also extremely much more useful. I take hay out this entrance now and it's much nicer. Yeah, it's really nice. So let's go talk about mains and four tops. Four. Dun, da, dun, dun, dun. Right. So right now, uh, Lady and, I said this, I think already, but Lady and Bill are outside. So that's why the Colts came in here for a little while. <clears throat> today and Baron is and Baron's and where the Colts used to be but they uh, stay in the um, box stall now sort of thing but what are we doing today what's prompting you to think about doing something here okay so this is what we got <laughs> Look at that. We have a horse that has been playing in the burdock. And look at all that burdock in his foretop. Now, I've said this for some time now and, and, I'm, and I'm going to do it now. This foretop has got to go. I dislike foretops. I don't like that hair all over their face. I like to see their whole head and as you can see, I bet half you people didn't even realize it. Stop, guys, you're up here. Come here. Um, come here. Come here. What's Baron has a nice. I'm going to rope cut here. Just a second. Okay. Baron has a nice white star here on his forehead. Who'd have known with all this <laughs> ugly hair over it? You couldn't tell it. Plus, and he, he actually has two eyes. Look at this. He has two eyes. This hair is not over his eyes. Now, I know people, some people just love to have all this hair. And that's fine. I have no problems at all with what you do with your horse. But for my horse, I hate it. And it's going to go. And there's also some very practical reasons why I hate it. When you go put a bridle on, and even a halter, this hair is right in the way. Now when I clip this, I'm not gonna clip the mane today. Although I'm not gonna promise I won't eventually. Um, but uh, sometimes, something about a stallion and a mane, I kind of like. I had a pair of stallions for years, and they both had big flowing manes on them. Um, but I cut the four top off. And so what I do, I'll cut the four top and I'll cut right where his halter goes, or bridle goes, the bridle path type of thing, right here above, behind the ears. Now, Baron has never dealt with a clipper, that I know of, although 
He was an Amish horse, and he had, as you can see over here, this mane is cut in such a way right here that maybe it was cut off where his collar went. I don't know what happened there, but it was at an Amish farm, so I'm quite sure they did do a, use an electric clipper. They probably just did it by hand. So he's never heard the clipper. He's never dealt with the clipper. He may go berserk. I don't know. But I am going to now attempt to take that hair off his head. And I would like to say it's not because um, he has burdock in there, because we've gotten burdock out of there lots of times out of their um, hair. It's, and I could do that again. It's not, that's not the primary reason why he's doing it. It's because of all the reasons he said. And it's just, <laughs> It's just a good time because of that, too, but, um, but it, that's not why. But it's also um, preference, you know, that's what I prefer. Yeah. So. And I have to tell you that, uh, especially me and the girls over the years, there, were, there was a couple times, and I, and I can remember it was Lady that this happened. Um, Jim cut, we complained and said, no, 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 don't cut her four top. And, um, or her mane. Or her mane, yeah. Her mane it was missed. It could be. Oh yeah, it was. Because, okay. Because it was, because it was always on one side nicely. So the one side they didn't, they couldn't, you couldn't tell there was no mane. And okay. Well, maybe that was what it was then. So, um, so what happened is he cut it, and it was like almost a week later. I finally realized that he cut it. <laughs> Partially because she wasn't in the barn anywhere near so much as she is now. Yeah but also partially because on the one side of her, of her neck, you couldn't even tell it wasn't roached because it was always kind of perfectly on one side and the other side had the mane. Yeah. So anyways, when I go to approach a horse with clippers for the first time, I'm very cautious. You never know what they're gonna do. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll kind of, to start with before I even turn it on, I would bring it up here, kind of rub it on them like this type of thing, just so they kind of get to used to that so they know it's not going to kill them. Um, and also, uh, when I go to turn it on, I will turn it on a distance from them. And then I shut it right back off again. After I get running, then I'll actually go up to them really uh, very cautiously just to slide it along their, their body. This is where I've been clipping all my horses for quite a few years now. It works pretty good. But uh, lately I've been using this stool here, which gets me a little bit higher and it helps um, for the clipping purposes.
Of course, I'm gonna do a better job, but if anybody wants this water here of Baron's Foretop, if you want to pay the shipping, I'll send it to you. Think anybody will? Yes, are you kidding me? Burdock and all. Yeah, we're not doing anything to it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna It's beautiful. Do a little more here. Barry, you're doing good. Maybe I should get on the other side for a different view. I don't know. Can I see you? What do you think? Did you? Can you see now? Okay. Apologize. I should have put my audio on earlier, but hopefully you can hear me now. So the first clipping on a horse. A lot of times I don't do a very good job now. I hopefully I'm not done. <laughs> do better than that. But uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to clip him a little bit more and try and, but already just, he looks so much better. He's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. He's got such a nice looking head. So. Well, I don't want to call him beautiful. I want to call him handsome. So let me see if I can't get a little bit more. I got to be very careful. And, uh, cause these, it's like so many different, so many things, you know, that first attempt to do something, it's so important to have it go good and end on a good note. Um, cause he'll remember this for a long, long time. And if it's a good, uh, good experience for him, then the next time around it's so much easier. But even so, I can have a perfect experience this time around, the next time around, might not be some, so good. So you gotta be so careful every single time. Unfortunately, my clippers are very dull, so that's not gonna help matters. Um, but I think I can get it this little bit done. Okay, I could live with that. It's just a little bit more right there sticking up. I'd like to clip um, as these episodes happen, you know, now, now that I've started, I'll be clipping his mane every single month. And over time, he'll get completely comfortable with it. So he'll come right up to me. Right now he keeps backing up a little bit. So I have to stretch and stretch. I can't really reach him very good to do a good job. But um, maybe I can, maybe he'll give me one more chance. 
to just get just a little bit more. I'm happy with up here. This is good. I just see that last little right there. So mm -hmm. it sticks right up. I'd like to yep. snip that. Just. Well, we could cut it with a scissor too. But. It could, it could. But I'll try one more time and then I'll call it quits. Do you think um, some of the other horses like having this done? Yes. Like, like yes. I think Buck does, right? Um, Oh, well, no, I'd say Ken more so, but yeah, they don't, surely don't mind it. It's surely, there's no pain involved, that's for sure. Um, and, uh, we could put that in the, uh, we have some videos of that if people want to see that too. Um, I have, for the last week or two, these colts have been inside every night, and so they're starting to get grain. So they're a little bit more hyped up than they would be sometimes without any grain. Uh, I like to feed grain. I think they look so much better with a little bit of grain into them, even though I'm not working them. But I'm, I'm planning on starting to work them right off um, very, very soon. I actually plan on taking a little bit, cutting back on my logging, and actually so I can spend a few more days a week here on the farm because there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done here also. So anyways, I'm gonna try one more time and then we'll call it good. Okay, I got it. Just as I was hoping to get it. That last little bit. So, now we have a new horse. Oh my goodness. He looks sharp now. Such a huge, huge improvement. I know a lot of you out there will probably be very disappointed that I clipped his, took his foretop off, but oh my goodness. I personally think I did the right move. I'm very, Let's very happy with it. Show you the other side. Look at that, Nick. Of course, that's no different, but. Baron, you gotta back up so we can see the whole effect. This is not doing anything. Now you won't back up. It's nothing I gotta do sometime. I gotta take this, take Wait this wall out. Let me get that hay. I still have to take my wall out here for him. But uh, yeah, I'm very pleased. Okay, I'm gonna go spread my door. All right, well these guys look pretty content in here today. Jim's getting ready to head out with the first load of manure with the Pertrons. That's the pot. I just did want to remind everybody that we have playlists below. If you look at the description below this video, you'll see all the playlists we have. We have playlists on um, horse care, on all different things, family life, 
harnesses and um, equipment, things like that. So if you're new to the channel, you can go there and things are kind of um, more clumped together by uh, subject and there's lots of videos. So just wanted to let you know that and also there's uh, still more calendars so you still got time before Christmas if you want to give those for gifts. They make good gifts. People, a lot of people have everything but a calendar or something that you need new every year. So anyways, thanks for coming along. We hope you enjoyed the video today.